Hey yo guys, welcome to my TNA Bound for Glory predictions. <clears throat> well, tonight's the night for TNA to showcase them in a way they've never done before, I, I guess. I mean, it's their WrestleMania, it's their Super Bowl, it's their World Series, it's their Stanley Cup Finals, Game 7, you know. Anyways, time for the predictions. So the fight for the right match is the first match they have advertised featuring... TNA stars battling for a shot at the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. I have no clue who's in this match. I mean, they could have at least advertised who was going to be in the fight for the right. Um, I heard there was going to be a Monsters Ball, too. But, yeah, anyways. Uh, I think the person who's going to win that's Rikishi. Because he, I believe, is in the fight for the right. So, I'm going to go with Rikishi just because they're giving him a big push. And I... I just don't see why he wouldn't win this. I mean, granted, it's a fucking backwards battle royal, which is retarded, but yeah. Rikishi's my pick for the fight for the right. The Knockouts Gauntlet match to determine the first TNA Women's Champion, like featuring Christy Hemi, Gail Kim, Miss Brooks, Jackie Moore, Roxy Laveau. Uh, I know Amazing Kong is in there, or that's her name. Um, <clears throat> uh, Talison. Yeah. I'm going to go with Gail Kim, just because Gail Kim, I think, would make a perfect champion for the if they're um, starting their women's division. I mean, now they're getting in WWE series. But that's behind that. I think their women's division will be good. I think Gail Kim who should win it, because she's, get, she's getting a great push. I'm better, she's the top woman that she's pushing, and, you know, she'd be great. I mean, I don't think any of the people they're bringing in will win it, because they're not contracted. It would be weird for them to win it. I mean, it would be great if they did contract, um, like, Amazing Kong and stuff. I know Tally Madison and them are there, but they haven't really established themselves yet. So, Gail Kim. <clears throat> then the tables match between the Steiner Brothers and Team 3D. I know it's two out of three falls tables match. My prediction is going to be the Steiner Brothers, because Team 3D has just been going through teams. They're going to get their get stopped here. And this is another example of a having the same feuds going on. I mean, these teams first were supposed to first meet at Slammiversary. That didn't happen. Then they met at Victory Road. I know they met there. And, yeah. So, anyways. But Steiner Brothers will win just because the Steiners always beat them in matches. Granted, this is, and this is Team 3D specialty. And I have a feeling they're just going to lose in their own specialty match. So, the Steiner Brothers. There must be a winner. The Samoan Submission Machine, Samoa Joe versus the Instant Classic Christian Cage with Special Enforcer Matt Morgan. My prediction for this one will be Cage because I can just see Matt Morgan turning on Samoa Joe. Because I think those two would have a great match right there. Build them there, get Cage out of this feud, and yeah, Morgan and Joe would have a great feud. I, I when uh, Morgan ripped Joe off at uh, No Surrender. I was like, man, that's going to be some damn good feudage going on there. And it's a shame they have to go this far and rehab this match. But, you know, it'll be a good match. These, these two have great matches. And I just see Cage winning because of uh, Morgan costing Joe the match. So, my prediction, Christian Cage. Then it's the return of the Ultimate X. Please make it the X on the rope things, not the, ulti like the Elevation X structure. Please do that, TNA. I don't like the big ass elevation X. Anyways, so LAX versus Senshi and Primetime Elix Skipper from Triple X. This match will be really good for a number of reasons. One, we've seen Senshi versus LAX at uh, Slammiversary with Rhino, and I just can't wait to see Hernandez throw him out like he did at Slammiversary and what he did on the like, a couple impacts ago. <clears throat> So that'll be good, um, and Elix Skipper's gonna do some great stuff off there. Homicide's gonna probably do some an Ace Crusher off there at least. And, you know, I'm just really looking forward to this match. This match, I think, we freaking brilliant if they go right. If they don't give it enough time and so on and so forth, it'll be. But my prediction's gonna be LAX just because LAX has been getting that push again. I mean, granted they lost last week on Impact because Homicide got pinned with the Olympic Slam. But, yeah, I'm going to have to go with LAX just because I don't see Senshi and Primetime getting the win in this one. But I would really like to see a title on the line in this one. I don't like when they have Ultimate X with just an X on there. Unless you're going to determine a number one contender or something, but no, I'm not this way. The TNA World Tag Team titles are on the line as Team Pac-Man takes on the phenomenal AJ Styles and Tomko. 
Prediction for this one, Phenomenal AJ Styles and Tom Coe. Christian's Coalition will go 2-0 uh, tonight, and they're going to get gold in their family. Why? Because mainly t pac -Man Jones is done. I mean, I can see them bringing someone in to maybe team with killings in this one, but really, no. I mean, nah. You should have. You should maybe make Pac-Man the manager of the stable team, and that'd have been better. And have Sean Waltman in there. But I'm gonna go with phenomenal AJ Styles and Tomko, just because of the fact that Pac-Man's done after Bound for Glory, and they need to get the belts with Tomko and Styles. And they would be a good team. I mean, Styles has now had every belt there, but yeah, Tomko is my pick. <clears throat> the TNA X Division Championship match: Black Machismo, Jay Lethal versus the Fallen Angel Christopher. Charles. This match looks brilliant too. But I have a feeling they're gonna do something to fuck this one up. I don't know why they're gonna do something to fuck this up, but come on. I mean, I heard they had a good match on Impact, but eh. I don't know. But my prediction would be uh, Black Machismo. As much as he's been getting owned on Impact by Team 3D and getting buried, I think he'll come through in his first title defense on pay-per-view and defeat Angel Christopher Daniels. It'd be cool if Daniels wins. I mean, I'm not upset if he does it. If he wins, yeah, that being Daniels, but yeah, I mean, come on. But I'm gonna go with Machismo. I just have to go with Machismo. I think they're gonna make his title run a little longer than a pay per view, a month, pretty much. So Black Machismo. But I'm really looking forward to this match. These two will have a good match. I have a feeling. That's how it'll be. But like I said, I also have a feeling that they could fuck it up. That's a TNA does. Anyways, so the f main event of the evening, your dream match, ladies and gentlemen. This is a dream match in some aspects, but it is a dream match. The TNA World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The world champ, Kurt Angle, defends the belt against Sting. A match, uh, you know, I'm kind of looking forward to this match. They've actually kind of built this one okay. I mean, they had to use the same Sting being a bad father thing, which I hate how you just reuse gimmicks or storylines like just not even like, two years after it's happened, but yeah. I'm going to have to go with Angle in this one, guys. I don't think they're going to give Sting the win. I mean, Sting would be an okay champ, but really. I mean, I just see them giving it to Angle. I don't mind Angle hanging on to that belt. I mean, I've heard Angle's going to go into matches, at least a match with Nash or match with Jeff Jarrett, but then again, I've heard Jeff Jarrett's retired, so yeah. But Angle, I mean, I think he'll get the win in this one for sure. Not for sure, but eh. I think he can, he'll get the win. I think he'll somehow counter the Scorpion Deathlock. He'll reverse the Scorpion Deathlock while he's in it and put him in an ankle lock and make Sting tap. But yeah, this pay-per-view looks great on paper, but Tina, you have the ability to do something brilliant tonight. Please don't fuck it up. I really would like to see this pay-per-view succeed, because I like... But now TNA's had those two hours. They had a great main event on their first one. And an oh, iffy last episode. But yeah. But anyways, guys, that's my prediction bit. Um, I'm out. Check you later. Peace.